welcome to Primal Yoga. So it's Friday, I really want to upload a YouTube video once a week um, to my YouTube channel so that you guys can practice at home, find some space, find a quick half an hour to create some space in the mind and the body. Alright, so today's practice, um, my Friday is always about having a little bit of fun and a bit of flow and also a little bit of fear. You know, taking yourself out of your comfort zones and challenging you to do things that, you know, you never really do. Um, one of my big things is always to do one thing a day that scares the crap out of you. So, I don't know, today it might be in your practice. So, today is primal yoga. Um, all that means is that we're going to do some primal movements through our flow. Um, I won't really explain it, I will just do it as I go. Again, all I'm going to say is listen to your body, rest when you need to rest, stop when you need to stop. And then make sure you have some water as well and hydrate through your session with little sips of water. Have fun, enjoy. My name is Meg. Um, this weekend, if you're free, come down. I have free classes all weekend. So 8 o'clock is high intensity interval training movement. Half an hour only to get your sweat on and move. 8.30 is a beautiful yin and a yang flow of pretty much 30 minutes of a flow practice and 30 minutes of stretching and yin. And after that, I'll be doing a talk on self-love, body awareness, and also sort of how social media and our external environment can really affect how we're going on up here and how we have the power to change that in our minds and in our thoughts. So without anything else, grab yourself two blocks or books or anything that you can, you know, hang on to, whatever, to give yourself some height and we will get started. So I'm actually going to get you guys to start right here where I am in my last in a squat. Now, you can grab a block or a book or a pillow or a cushion or whatever it might be and take a seat and draw your hands to your heart. Now, if the squat is in your practice, you're welcome to, of course, come down where I was before, but again, no force. Even just staying up here, even with the hands or the elbows onto the knees, making sure that you've got a nice flat spine if you're down here as well, making sure you're not sort of rounding out. So really trying to keep that spine nice and long as we just take a moment to just tuck the chin and spend five rounds of breath here to notice yourself coming into the practice today. Just being aware of the, the mind and any thoughts that may be sort of going on and just allowing yourself to start to become the observer, to listen into what's going in on those thoughts, to be aware that less is more the more we try and try and force things and force postures, the harder it's going to become. So in life also, when we force things and we really try and work hard and hard and harder for things, it becomes more and more and more taxing on the mind and the body. So adapting concepts of less is more, allowing things to come to you when they're ready. Not only here practicing on the mat, but also outside we start to really clear out space and find what it is we really want and really need for ourselves. Taking one more breath. And open your mouth and exhale. From here, removing the block or just gently sitting down and we're gonna open up through the hips. Being quite a movement practice today, it's really important that our hips are nice and open. So moving through some mobility to start our practice today in our flow. So you want to sort of place your hands behind and swiveling the knees left to right. Just going through a little bit of a movement sequence here. Keeping the belly in and braced as you really tuck in the core. So constantly focusing on your bandhas. So Mula Bandha, which is working through pelvic floor lock and Uddiyana Bandha, which is your belly lock as well. From here, bringing the feet sort of 90-90 position. And then you're just going to pick up, lift the legs and swivel them around. Now, if that looks a little bit confusing, put your hands behind and just changing over, transferring forward. But option to use your core by using your legs and your arms as well, by swiveling up, pointing your toes and squeezing your quads as you lift up and swivel and use the belly muscles here, essentially opening up through the hips. Cool, going for two more here. And going for one more. And we're going to roll over onto our hands and our knees and come straight into crawl position where we're going to walk Backwards for four and forwards for four. Again, backwards. Can you keep your knees just a centimeter off the ground 
and forwards for four. One more time, backwards for four, strong into the hands and forwards for four. Beautiful, from here, grinding down through the knees, pressing up, angry cat, so exhaling. Really scoop the belly in, really feel that space as you take an inhale, raising the chin. Exhale, find that space, articulate the spine, tuck the chin to chest and inhale. One more time, exhale. And inhale. And then from here, coming into high plank position, press into the hands, opportunity always to drop to knees if you need to, we're moving straight into it this morning. So press into those hands, joints are stacked. From here, dropping your left knee down, press into blade edge of right foot, inhale. And exhale, sweep the arm down and around. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale, hand comes back down, hold high plank, stay for your inhale. Exhale, drop the right knee down, press into blade edge of the left foot, ground on through the right, take an inhale. Exhale, sweep the arm down and around, keep pressing into that left foot, inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale. And exhale, finding high plank. We're going to warm straight up here by just adding some climbers. So drawing the right knee and then the left in towards the chest. Going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Sit back onto your knees. Give your wrists a really nice little shake. All right, three more times through of that just to get our bodies and our wrists and our hands nice and warm. All right, coming down. 3, 2, 1. Press into the hands. Moving in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Backs flat. 5. Four, three, two, and one. Sitting back again, shaking out through the hands, doing some really nice rotations through the wrist. Maybe even some spirit fingers here, really getting the blood into the fingertips. Moving around two more times. Coming out, opportunity to do this on your knees too. Looks like this. Drawing the knees into the chest. If not, maybe a little bit quicker this time. Drawing those knees in for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last time through, shake it out. Starting to maybe get that heart rate up just a little bit. Whatever you need to do here for your wrists and for your hands. Again, last time through, strong joints, they are stacked. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, one line, going for 10, nine, eight, seven, fast or slow, six, five, four, Three, two, press up, down, dog. From here, bending your knees a lot, press your chest back towards your thighs. Pedal your legs out as much as you need. Or of course, resting pose at any point, child's posture. Know that this is available to you at any time to come into child's or down dog to take recovery and breathe. I said quite a um, shorter practice today, but quite intense, so rest as much as you need. From here, grounding down through your heels and then take an inhale onto your toes and exhale, grounding down, keep your knees soft. Take an inhale onto your toes. This time, exhale, softening down into crouch. So come into that crouching tiger position. Inhale, press the hips up, down dog. Exhale, coming down into crouch, look forward. Good, inhale, press the hips in and up. Exhale, come down into crouch. Good, and inhale, press the hips in and up. One more, exhale. And then from here, just walk your feet to your hands. Keep the knees bent, coming into a forward fold ragdoll. The feet are hip width apart, maybe using a block to, to rest on here if that feels okay, or hands on knees at any lower backs as well. So keeping the belly pulled in towards that backbone. Take what you need here. Soften your knees so the chest is resting on the thighs. Maybe a gentle turn to the left and to the right. Maybe a nod of the head, yes and no. And then taking an inhale. Exhale, soften more. Brace through the bellies. So those are bellies of main bandha and Uddiyana bandha, pelvic floor and belly lock start to rise. Stacking the spine like you're blue tacking it against a wall. 
From here all the way up to stand, bring your feet hip width apart, take an inhale, so we're here. And exhale, hands to heart, come down into squat. Now we're going to take this as low or as high as you want to. We're going through four rounds again. Take an inhale. Exhale, coming down into squat, your version. Press into outer edges. Inhale and exhale. Good. In and out. In and out. Again. In and out. One more. In and out. So breathing you, resting however you'd like to rest. You can stand up, whatever works for you. Three more rounds through. Beautiful. From this one, take an inhale. Exhale, grounding down, coming to squat. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, coming down. Using your breath to breathe in and exhale to soften. In, remember your version, you can just go to here, whatever works for you. Inhale, exhale, in and out. One more time, in and out. Finding a resting posture of your choice. It can be on two hands or whatever works. Two more rounds through. So it's really good to be down in this sort of squat position and get ourselves used to being like what we used to do as kids, yeah? From here, grinding down, pressing the outer edges, take an inhale and exhale. In and out. Again, in and out. Keeping that spine nice and long. Inhale and exhale. So really flat spine. Inhale. Exhale, dropping down. Keep your chin up. Inhale. Exhale, two more times. Inhale, exhale, and last one. In and out. Can you hold your squat here? 10, 9, 8, one more round. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Pressing up last time through 20 seconds. So moving through, use your breath. Inhale to draw the air in. Exhale, press it away. In and out, in and out, beautiful, in and out, in and out, let's do one more, inhale and out, hands forward, find high plank, stay for your inhale, exhale, chaturanga, knees or toes, taking inhale, cobra for your first one, shoulders back, and then exhale, grounding down, tuck your toes, press straight up into high plank, find down dog. Always an option to step back to your knees on that transition too. From here, inhale onto your toes. Exhale, looking forward between your hands, crouch, jump step or float. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, soften, fold. Root through your heels. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step jump or float back. If you float back, please land with bent elbows like this. All right, so you land nice and safe. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Looking forward, bending your knees, jump step or float. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root to rise one more time. Inhale. And exhale, folding forward. Halfway lift, inhale, shoulders back. Step jump or float, high plank, stay for your inhale. Exhale, lean forward for more core. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows tuck in, maybe hover. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, down dog. From here, right leg inhale. Knee to nose, tiger curl, really scoop it in, find space here. Inhale, leg comes up. Exhale, right elbow to uh, right, knee to right elbow. Inhale, back up. Maybe you're sweating a little bit by now. Exhale, left, right to left. Inhale, we'll go through one more time. Knee to nose, tiger, can you kiss your knee? Inhale, back up, and I literally mean kiss your knee. Right elbow, right knee, squeeze. Inhale, back up one more time. Exhale, finding that left elbow. Then thread the foot through, come onto the blade edge of the right foot. Right hand goes down, find forward triangle, spin on your foot here. Lift up, inhale, and exhale, left hand down. Sweep the right foot all the way through and just come into a low lunge here, but keep your back knee off. So can you press more with your back heel? Press into your right heel with joint stack, so ankle underneath your right knee. From here, almost lift your chest off your quad here so they're active through the lunge. Take an inhale, draw the arms forward. Exhale, arrowhead arms. Again, inhale, sweeping them forward. 
Clasp the hands together, grounding down through your right foot. Maybe start to lift off, find warrior three. Option to bring those hands to heart here. Breathe, tuck the belly in towards the backbone. Taking an inhale. On your exhale, slowly step it back. Find your high lunge. Take an inhale up. Beautiful, and exhale, left hand down, right hand up. Staying for one breath as we transition into Vashi Stasana side plank. Ground down through the left hand, sweep the left leg, uh, the right leg all the way over. Find an inhale. Exhale, sweep down. Inhale to come up. Option here. Inhale. Exhale, sweeping down, come all the way up. Joints are stacked on the arm. Exhale, sweep down, come all the way up. Inhale. From here, exhale, come over into plank posture for me here. Grounding down, lift up through your hips, spine down dog. And we do a couple of little bunny hops here. So bending your knees, jumping forward between your hands and step back high plank. Inhale, down dog. Again, step back, find high plank. And then you can either just move through these however you'd like to. We're going for about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, drop to your knees, stretch back, child's pose. Beautiful. Heart rate's coming up a little bit. Again, just working into a couple of those animal movements as we go through our flow. Grounding down through your hands, pressing up, finding your downward facing dog. Let's move to the other side. Left leg inhale. Knee to nose, tiger curl, curl it in. Again, kiss your knee. Inhale, draw it all the way up. Left knee, left elbow, squeeze. Maybe even looking at that knee as you come around. Inhale. Left knee, right elbow squeeze. Inhale. And again, knee to nose. Inhale, kiss the knee. Exhale. Beautiful. Really working through here. Draw that elbow into the knee. Squeeze. Inhale, draw up. This time, left knee to right elbow squeeze. Thread the foot through. Come onto blade edge of the left foot. Left hand stacks under right shoulder, spin onto the outer edge and then open up fallen triangle. Holding here, breathe. One more breath in. And on your exhale, start to slowly draw that leg all the way up, stepping it through, grounding down, finding your lunge. So from here, press with your back heel, but also press your front heel in, lift your front toes, stack your joints. Onto the fingertips, belly pulled in and off your quadricep, in our arms forward. So strong here, so power lunge, really press that back heel away, exhale, arrowhead arms. You should be sweating a little bit by now. Inhale, draw the hands in, clasp them together, maybe drawing them to your heart and lift up, finding warrior three. Now if this is too much on the lower back, bring the hands to heart, pull the belly in towards the spine. Take one more inhale. And exhale, soften the front knee as you step it back. Take your time finding your lunge. Beautiful. Take an inhale and exhale, soften. From here, inhale. Exhale the right arm down, left arm comes up, lunge twist. Take an inhale, looking down, so stacking your joints, floating that foot all the way around. Find Vashi starts on the side plank. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the arm around like you're scooping water and inhale, come all the way up. Again, exhale, you can drop your back knee, to, uh, bottom knee if you want to, inhale. One more. Exhale, sweep it around. Inhale, drawing up. Really nice work here. From here, come back and find high plank, straight to down dog. Looking forward, bend your knees, jump step or float between your hands. Step it back, high plank. And then moving through however you'd like to here. Going for about 20 seconds, working through your bunny hop forward, pressing into the hand, look where you want to go, and then really step it back and then bend into the knees and really power up, and then use your core to work through. Going for about five more seconds, four, three, two, and one, child's posture, knees wide, toes touch, how are we doing? Inhale, and exhale, soften, well done. Breathe. Mm. Taking three more breaths here just to ground down. So quite an interactive practice today of just movement and breath. Pressing into the hands, coming up, find downward facing dog. All right.
From here, your right leg inhale. Step it all the way through, find high lunge, your right foot forward. So pressing into that front heel as you come all the way up, find airplane. Inhale, draw the left knee into the chest. Coming up, find stork pose. So curl your left toes up here, strong straight spine. Take an inhale. And exhale, maybe press away and lengthen. Inhale, draw the hands up. And exhale, sweeping it through, find a warrior three. Take an inhale and making sure your block is close by. Exhale, grabbing your block and finding half moon. So the left hand comes to the left hip, right hand to the block, or you're welcome to float it up. And I totally encourage you here to have a play. Maybe that left hand will come up. Maybe you'll start to bend into the knee and invite a sense of fun as you try and find your foot. See how you go. And just hold here, have a bit of a smile, soften your right knee as much as you need. You don't have to have it straight. Keep the breath for one more inhale. And on your exhale, can you slowly step it back and find warrior two? So right foot forward, left foot plants down about heel to heel, and you spin your right quadricep out. So external rotation here. So the knee is tracking over the toes. Your left quadricep, this one here, is spinning inwards, all right, and feeling the sensation and the, the tension between your adductors and inner thighs. From where I do, take an inhale, come up to five pointed start, and exhale, coming down into Skandhasana side lunge. All right, from here, we're going to really lean forward and really milk this one. So coming down nice and low, take an inhale. Exhale, sweeping nice and low. We're going to stay here. Inhale. Exhale, shuffle to the side. Inhale. Exhale, we're just going to move through this now just in your own breath for 10, 9, 8, option here, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, pressing up, inhale, exhale, hands to heart, 3 more times, inhale, draw the hands up, and exhale again, coming down into your version, and we're just sliding under the fence. Really working through our adductors here. Beautiful wide squat. Taking your time. Keeping the back really nice and flat for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more times. Maybe starting to sweat. So again, rest up, shake your legs out as you need. Inhale. And exhale, come down to Skandas. Remember that option is just here. So you're just sliding up nice and high. If you want more, of course, you can really come down into that flying ice skater lunge. Staying down nice and low. Breathe, pushing the knees out so that you're really getting into your adductors here. And they are firing for three, two, and one. Brace the belly, stand up nice and tall. Inhale, hands to heart, exhale. One more time, shake it out. Inhale. Exhale, coming down into Skandasana and last time through. Really active through those fingertips here, so long as that feels okay for you. Your eye gaze is just in front of your mat, so you're looking forward, not down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Brace the belly, inhale up, exhale, warrior two, back of the room or, ooh, or other side. Certainly not the splits yet. Only your warrior pose here, breathe. Cool, from warrior two, we're taking it straight over. So with your block, maybe just turning around, grab it, place on the left side, and we're going to go from warrior two, left hand down straight to half moon, right hand to hip, moving through the back side of that flow. So pressing away the heel here, maybe that right hand will come up. Breathe as you find your version of half moon. Keep pressing with your back heel away. Maybe that knee will bend and maybe you'll try and find the foot or the ankle or the tights or your pants or somebody else's, whatever, whatever works. Take one more breath in and slowly draw the knee back into the chest. Hold it here. Take an inhale and exhale, pressing away. Beautiful. Take an inhale, draw the hands up. Clasp them together, warrior three. Belly in towards back bone, remember option, hands to chest, take an inhale. Exhale, aeroplane arms here, so strong. Soften your front knee as much as you need. Chest up, take an inhale. And exhale, step it back, find high lunge. Inhale, 
and exhale, hands through heart. Beautiful. From here, find your plank. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to jump through the last round of intensity, I promise. So up to you, you can walk this or you'll step it. So walking version, we step in, step up, come to a bit of a squat, hands back down, step out. If not, you're welcome to go here, squat, out, here, squat, out. Yep, so your choice. So now we're going through four rounds. Three, two, one, so step. Either come into squat and step back out, high plank. Step, come into squat, step back out, high plank. Or bracing your belly, land the feet, land the squat, come back to plank. Four, three, two, and one. Rest how if you'd like to rest. Cool, so going through three more rounds of that. Bracing through your belly, coming down, find high plank. Round number two, your version. Either jumping in, loosening your hands, and finding that movement here. You can walk the feet out. You can jump them, just coming to a low squat burpee here. Coming into that really nice wide gorilla posture. Three, two, chill out. Thank God, two more rounds to go. Are we are done after this. A little bit longer to go, about 20 seconds on each round. Coming down, three, two, one. Remember your version, you can just walk it out. Let's go another 20 seconds here. Again, stay nice and tall if you need to. So even if standing up is better for you than rather coming to the squat, just move through that sequence. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. How light can you land your feet? Three, two, relax. One more set and we take it down to the mat. And I'm stinging for an acai bowl from Mama Peace. So this is nearly over. Coming down. Hands come down, last round, high plank, and then stepping it through, maybe working through a little bit of pace now if it's there for you. Bracing through the belly, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your squat, brace your belly, sinking down, Navasana boat pose. Beautiful, take an inhale, hold onto your legs. Exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, squeezing in. Exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, maybe loosen the hands. Exhale, so long as this is okay for your back. In and out, low boat. In and out, low boat. In and out, he's so cute, low boat. In and out, two more. In and out, one more. In and out, hold for 10, nine, scoot the belly in, eight, seven, Point your toes, squeeze your quads. Five, four, three, two, hug your knees. Oh, my goodness, that little boy that comes past, his name's Alex. He comes and says hello to me every morning here. <laughs> and he loves school. He absolutely loves going to class. It makes his day. <laughs> He's adorable. Oh, from here, find happy baby. Clasping the inside of your feet. Maybe a very gentle rock and roll left to right, knees wide. And then from here, we're going to bring the knees together, come to seated, and we're going to find a forward fold. So getting into those adductors, well done this morning. Quite intense for your flow, but yeah, a little bit of primal yoga. So you can see combining some animal movements and some function, functional stuff as well with our flow. With your straddle, you can sit on a block if you would like to, to give yourself a little bit more height, soften the knees, and then allow yourself to come in the front of your sit bones as you fold. If the block is not for you, then take it out. And again, just remembering to be gentle, leading with your heart and leading with your chin as you fold forward. Yeah, so primal yoga classes start um, under MEGQHQ, but at Fitness Revolution, they beautiful, Leanne and Dawn have offered me the space to use there to do PM classes. So that primal flow will be 6 o'clock PM on Thursday nights, two minutes from Dudley at Fitness Revolution in the, in the hot yoga room. And sometimes it'll be heated, sometimes not. I'll just gauge it on how we feel. And that flow is for anybody. There is no beginner or no advanced. I always specify that with any yoga that I teach because I feel everybody should be able to practice and there's always options for everyone. Softening into your fold now. Three more breaths. Good. 
Take one more inhale. Exhale, soften down. Press into the hands, slowly come up. From here, ground down the feet in front of you, hip width apart. Press into the hands, reverse tabletop. And then from here, bracing through the belly, bring your right hand to meet your left and squeeze and hold. Coming back down, hold reverse tabletop, other side. Ready for 10 of these. Really twist and use your torso here and your obliques. Coming down, maybe that foot will come up on your next one, your choice. Coming down nice and slow. Working a little bit of balance, working a little bit of core. Keep the breath. Remember, option just to touch the knee, touching the foot is just an option. I've completely lost count. Let's go for five. Going really nice and slow. Hips up for four. Press through your heels for three. Good for two. And for one. Coming back all the way down and just crossing over your feet here. Again, opportunity to sit onto a block. Working and stretching through our hips, taking an inhale and exhale, soften and fold. Breathe. Taking in out and exhale, soften. Press into the hands, scoop the belly in and up, changing sides. Inhale for length and exhale, softening forward. Breathe in and breathe out. Coming back up to centre. Finishing our practice with a seated spinal twist. Left leg out in front, right leg comes over, left hand comes up, inhale, exhale, lean forward, wrap the elbow around the knee, tuck the chin and work your twist. Being always gentle here, checking with the lower back. Always that option to put the elbow on the knee and really twist around, but check in with that lower back if that feels okay. Gently come back to centre. Take a moment maybe to just even shift to the other side. The foot comes out, the other side comes up and over. Left leg out, left hand up, inhale. Exhale, lengthen and then wrap it around and then just start to twist. And then as you come down, we are finding our Shavasana. So I invite you to spend Probably two to three minutes here in Shavasana as you lay down. Now option always to have the feet hip width apart and the knees knocking together if that's better for your lower back. If not, I totally invite you to spend Shavasana in Sukta Vadakanasana with the heels together, the knees, dro the, knees, the knees dropping out to the side. And roll the shoulders up and down and in so the palms are relaxed, facing up and allowing yourself to create space. Providing yourself the clarity in the mind. Space not only in the body, but for the self. An opportunity here just to focus on this very moment and be present. To really look inside of you right now. And have some gratitude for being able to move, to sweat and to play. Enjoy this time in space. Shavasana.
as you spend another 30 seconds or so here. Uh, read a passage from Baron Baptist's book Journey into Power Meditation helps you cultivate what I like to call your blue sky mind It lets you take a step back from the centre of your circumstances and gain a new vantage point If you are lost in your head you can only see what is right in front of you you are only focusing on the grey cloud. But when you take a step back and become the observer, you can see the bigger picture. It can be a huge relief. It's very freeing to suddenly see that there's really lots of blue sky and that all that junk going on in life is really just the clouds. In your own time and when you're ready, just making the necessary movements to reawaken yourself and your body. And when you're ready, just taking the time to roll to your right side and curl into a little ball. Always taking a moment here of gratitude, self-respect, love and compassion to welcome in these next moments in your day to thank yourself for practicing and taking the time out for you. Coming to your knees or a seated position, draw your hands to heart, thumbs to your chest for a moment as you tuck your chin. Drawing deep on your inhale and then opening your mouth on your exhale. On your inhale, draw your hands to your third eye center and raise your chin. Encouraging you to speak and have actions with clear and loving thoughts and intentions throughout your day. To speak clearly and with kindness, not only to others, but to yourself. To all beings everywhere, thank you for your practice. Namaste. Thank you. Any questions, comments, leave them below or um, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Again, this Saturday, which is tomorrow, free classes all day at Meg HQ Dudley. Um, I also have classes uh, on Sunday morning, which first class is free at Maitland. That's at 8.30 at Organic Feast. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I have an 8 o'clock movement. I have a 8.30 yin and yang practice. And four o'clock, back by demand, is a half and half flow, half movement, so that primal stuff and half yoga. Sunday, we are meeting at Dudley Beach, um, meeting at the end of Bombala Street, 4 p.m., for a bushwalk and a yoga flow down at the beach. Again, it's all free. I've got goodies from Mama Peas at Charlestown. Oh my God, I can't wait. I'm on there now. And also, Sue is bringing her soaps. Um, to she makes these beautiful organic soaps that she'll have here for sale, and I think they're really cheap too. Anyway, any questions, hit me up. Um, everything is on the website, makehq.com. Have an amazing Friday.